Barcelona's president makes a bold declaration. We don't need disruptive Holland, but what's the reasoning behind this surprising stance? But before we delve into the details, let's take a quick look at some interesting news first. Real Madrid bound Indrik dedicates his match-winning goal for Brazil to Manchester United legend Sir Bobby Charlton, the 17-year-old, set to join Real from Palmeiras, reminisces about scoring at Wembley, where Charlton made history. Nico Williams condemns racism in football, expressing solidarity with Vinicius Jr., who has been a target of racial abuse. Williams emphasizes the need to eradicate such behavior and hopes for a positive atmosphere during matches. Manchester City's Claudio Echeverri, signed from River Plate, will be loaned to Gyrna in January. The move aligns with City Football Group's strategy. With previous transfers between the clubs, Echeverri's loan deal is all but confirmed. Rasmus Hodgland backs Christian Eriksen's potential for increased playing time at Manchester United. Despite recent bench stints, Hodgland, Eriksen's teammate, praises his professionalism and expects him to feature more, amid discussions about his future. Joao Cancelo, on loan at Barcelona from Manchester City, accuses City of ingratitude. He disputes Guardiola's remarks about him, citing his commitment. Cancelo also recalls a distressing incident, expressing disappointment with how it was handled. Liverpool's Trent Alexander-Arnold is on track to return for the Manchester United rematch, recovering from a knee injury. His availability could bolster Liverpool's lineup. Additionally, Diogo Jota and Curtis Jones may also return for upcoming fixtures. Bayer Leverkusen coach Zabai Alonso is inclined to remain in the Bundesliga next season, dismissing potential moves to Bayern Munich or Liverpool, content with his role. He aims to continue leading Leverkusen's charge in the league. Barcelona aims to secure Pau Cubarsi with a new contract amid Manchester United's interest. The 17-year-old defender's impressive performances attract top clubs, but Barcelona plans to extend his deal until 2030 or 2031, emphasizing his importance to the team. Manchester United is scouting Barcelona's Mika Fey, impressed by his performances under coach Rafa Marquez, with Barcelona open to selling the youngster, a summer auction is expected, with Bayer Leverkusen also showing interest. Real Madrid identifies Sevilla's Juanlu Sanchez as a successor to Danny Carvajal. They plan to wait until 2025 when his contract nears its end, aiming for a cut price deal. For now, they prefer to evaluate Carvajal and Vazquez. AC Milan targets Sofian Amrabat, currently on loan at Manchester United from Fiorentina, with a 25 million euros permanent option. Milan aims to secure him in Serie A, negotiating down Fiorentina's asking price. Now, let's delve into the main news of the day. Barcelona president Joan Laporta has unequivocally dismissed rumors linking the club with Erling Haaland. Despite the Norwegian's remarkable success with Manchester City, speculation persists regarding his future. Real Madrid, in particular, eyes Holland as a prized acquisition, willing to bide their time as his release clause decreases annually. Recent reports suggested a shock move to Barcelona, allegedly sparked by talks between Holland's agent and Blagrana's sporting director Deco. However, Laporta swiftly quashed such rumors, citing the club's dire financial situation. Holland's 200 million euros price tag remains far beyond Barcelona's reach. Laporta addressed the sensational links, emphasizing team balance over individual star power. He highlighted the strength of the current squad and stressed the importance of prudent investments. Laporta's focus lies on building a cohesive, balanced team rather than splurging on marquee signings like Holland. With promising talents like Lamain Yamel and emerging stars like Vitter Roque, Laporta envisions a bright future for Barcelona, underlining the significance of maintaining a cohesive team structure. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe, and a big shout out to all you awesome fans. Your support means the world.